So I hope you're all doing well. Last week was freaking crazy. If you haven't seen, there was a bunch of new hardware that came out by Blackmagic as well as new versions of DaVinci Resolve. And then they had a beta version of DaVinci Resolve, mainly if you wanted to test the new, the new cameras of uh, video, uh, that new 12K uh, video. So the updates this year, Blackmagic pretty much just released a whole bunch of updates to just fix stuff. They are really going through and trying to fix a lot of those issues that people are having with the plethora of different footage or the different types of machines, depending on if you're in Fusion, if you're in DaVinci Resolve. There was a bunch of updates with Fairlight and being able to use older projects in the new uh, DaVinci Resolve. So that was kind of cool to see. I don't really personally do a lot in, in Fairlight. Life. The uh, Facebook community is now over 7,000, so that's pretty cool. If you have questions with your projects, uh, you can go there and get help. Um, uh, yeah, so there was that. Um, that camera, I mean, a lot of people have talked about that camera already, and it seems pretty freaking cool. Don't know if I'm going to get it yet. It would be kind of cool to play with. What I really want to know, the scaling on the sensor. That's something that I would really be interested in seeing more because yet I might not film everything in 12K 60 frames per second. It would be cool to go to one of those other resolutions and still get that whole sensor. You know, in the, in, in the back of my mind, if I was building the perfect camera, I would probably want a large format camera. Um, that was 12K, that would be awesome. Yeah, I would like to be able to see like that that sensor, um, the different frame rates, but then keeping that same sensor size. Anyway, so I, I still have to learn a little bit more about the new recorder versus the old recorder. That's the thing that gets attached onto the back of the camera um, so that you can actually have SSDs on there. But yeah, that camera looks pretty dope. And then they have a whole new color science. Um, would have to see that up against other things. Anything that's an improvement is cool to see. Um, this year has been pretty depressing on a lot of other factors. So any type of uh, stuff like that is pretty awesome. So if you haven't seen uh, a week ago, I think it was now, I asked for a bunch of community questions uh, just because I have a lot of stuff going on in my personal life. So I haven't been able to make uh, tutorials. So the first one is asking about uh, a 3D solution for, or a 360 solution for DaVinci Resolve. I personally don't do a lot in 360 or 3D, so I don't really have the perfect solution for that. It can be done. There are a bunch of template projects that you can use, map around and stuff like that. I don't really have uh, much experience in it because it's not really something that I produce really ever. So yeah, sorry I'm not much of a support <laughs> there. Uh, the next one is migrating content from After Effects to uh, DaVinci Resolve Fusion. So I'm guessing this is the built-in Fusion and not the standalone Fusion. So I don't exactly know what it is that is the content that you're trying to migrate. If it's just video clips, you can do that. But if you have like pre-made templates or anything that's actually using the tools within After Effects, you can't really bring that into Fusion. One, the tools are completely different and two, they don't really work as like a ecosystem that works together. My suggestion, if you already have like pre-made stuff, what I would say is whatever doesn't get changed to just render that out and then you can use tools within Fusion to do the rest of it. So like, let's say you have an end screen and the footage does something, you have a bunch of stuff moving around, but then there's maybe text on it and the text always changes. Well, what you could do is you could just render out the whole clip without the text, then bring it into uh, Fusion for all of your other projects, and then just add on one of the text tools uh, within Fusion to alter it to fit that particular project. That's probably the best solution that I have for you outside of knowing what the content is that you're trying to migrate from one to the other. Can you write an expression that links size of text to the size of a background? You can, but it's not going to work in the way in which you want it to work um, because your if, it, if it's just a, you know one going from one to the other without any type of uh, math in between there, you're you're working with um, 
uh, um, font size, and then you're working with screen space, or you're working with font size and screen resolution one of the two you'd be working with so it's not you can copy one to the other but they're not going to work in the manner in which you're thinking that they were uh, but the other thing that you would be able to do too is if you just want to have something that covers the background of text you can actually add in another shading element as a box and that would be a perfect um, um, size for the text because it's actually using the text uh, for the sizing of those boxes. Uh, why am I bad at editing in Resolve? Doesn't matter how long you get into editing, you always think your last project is a dumpster fire. How can I move a person in video which isn't green screen to another background? All right, so uh, you're kind of saying, okay, well, I can't chroma key, right? Um, chroma key doesn't always mean a green screen, right? So you could, you could key any color uh, it's just that if you have like, let's say a tree behind you, you're going to have green, you have the sky, it's blue, you're going to have the bark that's brown, right? So you would have to key every color, but then you might have brown hair. So then the bark and the, you know, so uh, what you would end up having to do is rotoscoping. And there are artists that all they do is rotoscope. I don't know how many frames you're looking to do, but um, cause rotoscoping can quickly become time consuming, but that would be my next option that I'd recommend. If you can't key it, you rotoscope it. So yeah, if you haven't seen, I uh, produced a couple of new things. I guess I should show you guys what I've been working on. I've been working on a new set of titles that will you know, use like a bunch of little pieces to build out your title and they all have different animations. The more and more I work on this pack, the more and more I'm coming up with new ideas to, to teach you guys. So um, like I said, I have a bunch of uh, stuff that's going on in my personal life. Uh, so when I, when I get free and then I can dedicate a little bit more time to creating more content, I will, you know, as I can. So with that being said, my name's JR. Hope you guys all stay safe and I'll talk to you guys later. Have a good one, guys.